My name is Cameron Dodge White. And I'm Michael Veselinovsky. And we are our two members of Saturday Night Improv. I think that was Saturday Night Improv is a uh, troupe that started four years ago um, that gets together and does a monthly show um, of improv comedy. If people don't know what uh, improv comedy is, it's where you come. Audience gives us suggestions and we make up funny stuff right from the top of our heads. Um, the different aspects that are, are involved in improv are kind of twofold in the sense that one, it's an individual set of skills. It's understanding the rules of improv. You want to accept every offer because if you don't accept every offer, um, it kills the momentum of the scene and you're working against your partner. And then when it comes to partnership, it becomes less about being an individual and more about being a team. You have to trust the person you're on stage with that if you don't have a, fun, a great idea to come with, they're going to give you something that you can build on. And from there, you trust each other to pick each other up and make funny stuff happen. Valtrex helps me control my STD in a simple one pill a day way. That way, I can keep living my life. So thanks to prescription Valtrex, I have genital herpes. What? As far as the group itself, uh, Saturday Night Improv, it's um, the first of its kind ever on CMU's campus. Um, we are not an R uh, RSO, um, so we have auditions. And so we, we bring a high quality to our shows. We want people to come and say, those guys were really good, and that if you went and saw a Second City show, you could, it would be a comparable experience. And it's something that students started. It's run by students with the support of the faculty here at CMU, and it's become a part of kind of campus life. A lot of people have come to our shows, and we usually sell out um, both shows that we do every month. We usually uh, meet twice a week, and then uh, a week before the show, we'll meet all uh, all that week just to uh, get comfortable working with each other. We're all we all bring like a different. Um, I guess element to uh, performing like we were just me and Cam were just talking about it I like doing character work and Cam's more witty with his words so uh, we just all get together and uh, practice working with each other's uh, personality types uh, during a show what we do is the week before a show we um, all sign up for the games that we want to play um, there's a ton of different games for improv and they all have kind of a different twist so uh, one, one that we play almost all the time is the bell game what happens is two actors go up there and they start a scene and any time the host rings a bell, the actor who just spoke last has to take back what they said and come up with something completely different. So there's a ton of games with a ton of different twists like that, that rules, so it kind of changes the flow of the improv. We rehearse those games um, with the set cast so that we get comfortable in them, we know who we're rehearsing with. Um, show night comes, 6 o'clock we meet, we get ready, get the, the theater ready. Show starts, we always open with a sketch that's pre-written and pre-rehearsed and then we introduce the troupe and then we have all our set lists backstage and we just go through the progression. We usually play about 10 improv games and we usually have on average about four sketches. Um, every game that we play when we prepare has some type of different twist usually. Um, one of the games that we play every, every show is called Switch Left um, where four actors form a box on the stage and every two pairs of actors have a different scene. And at any time, the host will say, switch left, and everybody switches left one, so we come back to a, a different scene. And we'll get uh, four different suggestions, like a relationship, uh, a space that will fit on the stage, an opening line of dialogue, and uh, an object, a household object. And based off of those, there will be four completely different scenes going on at the same time. We need a utensil, and we need one now. I think the best part about, for me at least, is uh, when I'm at home, I uh, literally just improv with like my roommates. I'll just pretend to be a wizard coming out of my room for some odd reason. But um, I guess it gives me a chance to do that without people thinking that it's a little weird. Um, every night, like I said, we get, a, we get an improv an hour. I don't even consider it improv. I just come and play with my friends. Like, it's perfect. Um, you know, we started this troupe four years ago. Um, simply based off of conversations, we said we'd all improv in high school and we loved it and there was nothing that we could do here um, like that. And so we decided to start a troupe and since then um, the troupe members have gone on to create something that's really special that's continued for four years and um, it's helped us hone our skills. I mean, the, 
the, the improv skills that it would take away. I mean, he's a business major. Yeah. Making presentations, he can rely on improv skills. For me, on stage, I can rely on improv skills. I mean, it, it's useful all around. And I think that the development of that skills and the, de and, and the creation of something that still continues and will hopefully continue after we're gone is something that's really special. Agreed. Thank you so, so much, guys, for all the years. Have a great night. Great day.